What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how long it takes to become a surgeon or a physician in general, and is it worth it? I get a lot of emails all the time from students, pre-med, college, medical students even, asking me, is it worth it to, uh, you know, to take on this arduous path? Um, you know, it takes four years of high, uh, four years of high school, which I didn't include in the 14 year total, but four years of high school, four years of college, four years of medical school, and to become an orthopedic surgeon, it takes five years of uh, residency training, plus 90% of people do a fellowship, either in foot and ankle, sports medicine, spine surgery, joint replacement, hand surgery, shoulder and elbow, oncology. And those are one to two years each. So four, 14 years, after high school to become a surgeon? The quick answer is yes, I do think it's worth it, but it is a long road. You have to take it day by day. When people hear that that, that path, that it takes that many years, they get kind of discouraged because no one wants to be in school that long. I certainly don't, but once you're kind of uh, in your third and fourth year of medical school, going into your internship, residency, it doesn't really feel like school per se. It feels like you're working. So I feel like I have a job now. I get paid, we get paid in residency, but I'm just not a full-fledged surgeon. Um, like I said, you you definitely have to take it day by day. You have to really want it. Um, Cause there, there's gonna be times where you feel like giving up or your friends are going on vacation. You know, uh, you see all of your uh, people that you went to college with and they have jobs now and they're making good money. You're struggling as a resident. Um, but you just have to be steadfast. You have to be, um, you have to have some sacrifices. Dave Ramsey, one of my kind of people that I look up to is a financial guru. He always says, live like no one else now so you can live like no one else later. Um, and I try to uh, use that as encouragement uh, when I see, you know, my friends doing things that I wish I can do because I've been in school for a long time. This is year, going on year number 13 for me. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's been definitely a road, a long road. So all of you guys out there who, who are, uh, you know, sitting in class right now or if you're at home watching this video, I just wanted to give you guys some encouragement. Um, I love going to work every day um, because I enjoy what I do. I love surgery. I love helping people, getting people back on their feet when they're uh, injured or uh, sick. So that keeps me going. You have to find out what keeps you going, what what's going to motivate you in the long run, doing those long, hard, um, you know, hours that you're studying in the library, um, those times that you feel like giving up, something is going to need to sustain you, and uh, you have to figure out what that is. So, stay encouraged. I say go for it. It's definitely worth it. After medical school, you basically work. You still have to come home and study and all these other responsibilities, but it doesn't feel like you're in actually school, per se, so people just actually call it training school. Um, but I say go for it. It is a long road. If you want to go into something a little bit shorter, uh, emergency medicine is only three years after medical school. Pediatrics is three years. Internal medicine is three years. Some programs four. Anesthesiology is four years. So it doesn't have to be the long surgery out route, but just pick something that you enjoy doing, and I say go for it. Never give up. This is Dr. Webb. We'll catch you next time.